walking to court to speak on behalf of her dead daughters. Stacy Kukendall wants the world to know who she believes killed her three children back in 1992 when her course account at Texas home burned down. I'm here to make sure that my daughter's voices are heard. Todd murdered Amber, Carmen, and Cameron. He burnt them. He admitted he burnt them to me, and he was convicted for his crime. That is the closest to justice that my daughters will ever get. Former federal prosecutor Johnny Sutton is representing Kukendall. He believes the facts in the original conviction should stand. The facts are important, and I think many times the facts are left out, and people like to shade only one version of, of, of what happened. Renowned arson expert Craig Baylor was hired by the Texas Forensic Science Commission to review all the evidence in this case. His conclusion, the science to convict Cameron Todd Willingham was wrong. A Willingham supporter stands by that report. If the trial was taking place based today or if, or if scientific evidence was used back in 1992, Todd Willingham would not have been convicted. Inside the packed courtroom, Navarro District Attorney Lowell Thompson delayed the proceedings. He asked Judge Baird to step down, saying his motion should be accepted to allow the hearing to play out as allowed by law. I just want to make sure that it's done correctly, by the book, and fairly for either side. You know, whether we have one or not, if we're going to do it, let's do it right. From the bench, Judge Baird says this type of hearing has played out before with positive results. These were pretty much exactly the same proceedings that we engaged in on behalf of Mr. Tim Cole that the governor later recognized and who was the posthumously pardoned by the governor.